Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Connolly. I started making videos for my fifth grade students and now I want to share them with all of you so everyone can be learning during this crazy time. So today for our math time, we're going to be talking about reading and writing decimals. So it's important to know what a number say, says when we're looking at it and it's important to be able to hear a number and write it down correctly. So we're gonna work on that today. So if you see the screen in front of me, you can see that I have um, a place value chart and I am going to put a decimal, or not a decimal, I'm gonna put a number that includes a number in decimal form up here and we're gonna um, work on reading and writing decimals, okay? So let's take a look at our place value chart. On the left side of the decimal, we have whole numbers um, that you're familiar with in fifth grade. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Um, we're not going to use all of them today because our focus is going to be on this side of the decimal, which we have tenths, hundredths, and thousands. Okay, so let's get a number in here and let's practice reading it and um, then we will practice writing afterwards. All right, so when we are reading numbers, that have a decimal, it's important to know that the decimal point, we say the word and. So when you hear the word and in a number, that means that there should be a decimal point when we're writing it, okay? So important to know this right here, I'm gonna say the word and out loud as I read. So on the left side of the decimal, you're gonna read the whole number as you would always read it. So 31 and, and then when we get to this side, and I'll read it all together at the end, so just stick with me, we're gonna think about what place value does the number go to? Where does the number stop? So the number stops here in the thousands place, so that's the last word that we say, okay? We are going to read this as if it was a whole number, just like I read 31. I read 31 as if it's a whole number, I said 31. I'm gonna read this as if it's a whole number, and if it was a whole number, it would be 28. And then I'm gonna say the place value that we end in here, the place value that it represents is 28 thousandths. So when I read this um, number, I'm going to say the whole number, 31 and 28 thousandths. Okay, so I read the whole number. I said the word and, then I read this as if it was a whole number, and then said what place value is in, and that's the thousands place. Okay, so we're gonna try a couple more where we go through the same process. So this is my second place value here. Um, chart, same thing. We are going to write another, I'll write another decimal, we'll practice reading it together. Okay, so we have, let's just think about if there's a zero in the ones place because that happens. In a lot of the numbers that you start working with with decimals, you see a zero there, so I'll help you read that. Okay, and this time I'm going to just go to this place value. So what we do is we read the whole number first. So clearly you see the whole number is zero. Then we're gonna say the word and for the decimal because it means zero holes and this much parts of a whole. And then we're gonna say this as if it's a whole number. So if you think about this as if it's a whole number, it would be 14. And then you're gonna say the place value. Okay, so when I read this all together, zero and 14 hundredths. Okay, so the whole number is zero, there's zero holes, and we read this as a whole number 14, and then we read hundredths, the place value that it ends in. Okay, because this represents 14 hundredths if it goes to the hundredth place. All right, so let's try another one going down to the next place value chart. Okay, so let's put some things together that we learned here, reading the whole number as if it was a whole number, and then saying the place value that this goes to. Oh, look, I made something that's related to the last thing. All right, so anyways, um, we're gonna read the whole number, just like you would read any whole number. We're gonna say and for the decimal, and then we're gonna read this as if it's a whole number. You should be practicing reading this out loud as I'm going along and then we'll say the place value that it falls in, okay? So the whole number, we say 312 and 140 thousandths. So I'll say it again a little quicker. Read the whole number, 312 
and 140 thousandths, okay? I want you to pay attention to something special that happened. A lot of people are gonna wanna say 312, but we don't say and when we're talking about whole numbers because we know that and represents what, or we know that when we say the word and, it's because we see a decimal. And we don't see a decimal over here. We see 312 and 140 thousandths. So the word and does not belong here. When you're reading whole numbers, when you're reading um, numbers, whole numbers and then reading a decimal, the only time you're saying and is right here when you see the decimal. Okay, so one more. Practice with reading a decimal, then we're going to practice taking numbers and writing the decimal. So we'll see both sides of it in this video. Okay, so let's say that we have, well, I can't say that loud right now. I'm really into the number 140 right now. We haven't practiced this place value yet, so I'll make sure I do that. All right, so we're going to read this whole number as we would read any whole number. So we are going to say three, 1,142 and 3 tenths. Okay, so the whole number, if we were reading this like it was a whole number, it would just be the whole number 3, and then we say the place value tenths, so that's what it represents. So this is how you read it, 3,142 and 3, and this is in the tenths place, so we say tenths. Okay, so just to clarify what I'm saying, this is not and when it's in the tenths place, it's not representing a whole number. I'm just saying we would read it as if it's a whole number, and then you say whatever place value it ends in. Okay? So you're going to be practicing doing that today. You are going to be given words, and I want you to write the number, and you can use a place value chart if that helps you. So jot this one down in a notebook, um, or if you're in my class, you'll have a nice little chart in your work for you to help. Okay? So let's go down, and let's think about when we're given the words, okay? So that's the other part of your assignment today is gonna be when you see the words written, you're gonna have to actually write the decimal because your fifth grade standard is reading and writing decimals. So let's practice. Down here it says zero and 402 thousandths. So the first thing that we should be thinking about is what do we have before the word and? Do you all see the word and here? Whatever we have before the word and represents the numbers that fall to the left of the decimal because they're whole numbers. So what do we have to the left of the decimal? For this one, we just have the number zero. So in the ones place, in the ones place, I'm gonna write zero because we have zero holes. Then I see the word and, and I know, okay, that's where my decimal would be put if I had, if I was writing my decimal myself, but it's here for you. Um, and then we're gonna look at this side of it. So let's think about this, how it's written, 402, and it should end in the thousands place. So I'm going to make sure that I write what looks like, looks like it's not, but it looks like the whole number 402, 402. And then I double checked it, I go to the thousands place. And you should always double check after you've written the decimal to make sure it makes sense. So am I looking at this and seeing the same as I see down here? Zero and 402 thousands. Let's double check. Zero and 402 thousands. Looks good, okay? So let's go on to the next one. So I took everything from this, uh, the left of the decimal before the word and, and that's where I write that. And then anything on the other side of the word and goes over here. Okay, so moving along. Thank you for being patient as I navigate to my computer. All right, let's look at the next one. We have 38 and nine hundredths. So 38 and, I'll circle that because that word's important, nine hundredths. Okay, so I know 38 represents three groups of 10 and eight ones, and so do you. So when I make sure I'm writing in the correct place value, I'm gonna write 38, the whole number, and I know that it goes on this side of the decimal because it came before the word and. When Miss Connolly said it out loud right now, 38 and nine hundredths, and it also is, um, when you see it on the paper, it becomes comes before the word and. That's how we know it goes to the left of the decimal and represents the whole numbers. Then we have nine 
hundredths. So a big thing that sometimes we want to do is when we see a nine, we want to plop it right in the place value that comes next and move on to the next one. But we're not going to be doing that because we want to make sure that we're representing the number that we see down here. If I write it, if I just plop that nine here, it says 38 and nine tenths. And that is not what we're trying to write. So if you recall from our standard form conversation, if you're in my class, um, that we had, if there are um, not any groups of tenths, we have a digit that we can write there as a, um, so that we can move to the hundredths place and that's a zero, okay? So now we have 38, nothing in the tenths place, we want our number to say nine hundredths. So I wanna make sure that I am ending in the correct place value, okay? This one says 38 and nine hundredths. So I have to make sure that this side of my decimal says nine and then it ends in the hundredths place, okay? So let's double check, 38 and nine hundredths. 38 and nine hundredths. Okay, so what we did, very important, is originally I was doing something that we might be tempted to do, and I put a nine in the tenths place. Okay, what this problem is forcing us to do is think about what place value should actually be in. So then, in order to put the nine in the hundredths place, we knew that a zero went in the tenths place. Okay, so if you only have nine hundredths, there's not gonna be anything in the tenths place because you know you need 10 hundredths to have something in the tenths place. All right, side note, moving on to our next one. Okay, so let's read it and figure out what that word and is so we know where the decimal goes. 172 and 3 tenths. Okay, so there's my word and. I know that's where this, um, where the decimal is gonna be in this number. So. 172. To write the number 172, you notice there's no and over here because that's not how we say it. 172 and 3 tenths. So I want to end in the tenths place. So let me see for a second here. If I write the 3 here, does it say 3 tenths? Yes, it does because it is in the tenths place. So here we have the whole number 172 and three tenths, okay? So after, one thing that I really want you to think about is because sometimes we go too fast, especially in the last example, you definitely wanna read that um, decimal, or the whole, or sorry, you want to read the number out loud to yourself and make sure it matches, okay? So let's look, oh, sorry. Let's look at the ones that I want you to try today, okay? Um, pause it if you're on YouTube, and if you're on the TV, get your notebook and write this down. You try it. I want you to write these in num numerical form, so I want you to write them as a number, okay? 122 thousandths. So jot that down. You can write it in the words right now or try writing it as the number. Zero and 14 hundredths, try writing that down. And then I want you to try to read these decimals out loud or you can write them down as words if you wanna practice doing that because that's always good to see. So if you want to, uh, I'm not gonna read them out loud, I almost just gave you all the answers. So I want you to write these decimals down. These numbers, sorry, I keep calling them decimals. There's numbers that have a decimal in them. Um, write those ones down and practice saying them out loud. And if you want even more practice, have your parents write a couple down and you practice saying them out loud, paying attention to what place value the number ends in and making sure you say that at the end. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Pay attention to that word and and where the decimal goes. Okay, bye.